We all know someone with chronic illness and developmental or genetic otherness. Let's imagine that you'd like to immigrate to Canada. You gather information, you collect forms, you fill them out, you pay fees, and then you wait. You move to Canada, you settle in, and after five years, you would like to apply to stay. You apply for permanent residency. In the immigration medical examination, your child is signaled out. She's found to be living with a learning disability. On this basis, you come to find out your whole family is ineligible to immigrate. My name is Laura Bizayon. I'm a sociologist and professor of health and society. I study the people, places, and politics related to migration, health, and the state. In my pop-up lecture today, I'll be talking to you about a barrier to immigration to Canada called medical inadmissibility.